Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tanika Dia. Alrighty, as you can tell by the title. Now today I'm just going to be showing you all how I make my rice water and then how I apply it to my hair. So today's video should be a rather short one. Now I did show it in another video a couple weeks ago on how I apply it, but I didn't show how I made it. Now I had a couple um, requests about two or three people at just asked how I make rice water and um, how I apply it to my hair. So I am going to go ahead and make this video today. So yeah, if you like to see how I do make my rice water and apply it to my hair, then please continue to watch. When there's no hope, hiding, no chance, concealing what deep down I felt for you. So I am in my kitchen as always on wash day. So today is Sunday. It is 4 p.m. And yeah, I'm about to wash my hair. I have to do it, you know, later in the day because of church and dinner obligations and things like that. Not that dinner is actually taking a lot today. Um, I'm just going to uh, make some meatball subs for dinner today. Um, so yeah, that's cooking in the background there. So that's why you see a little stuff over there. But anyway, um, yeah, so I'm in my kitchen and I just wanted to show you guys um, how I make my rice or prepare my rice for the rice water that I use on Sunday. Now, the one for today is already done. I actually um, uh, started the fermenting process on Friday. Today is Sunday, so, you know, it's been sitting this long. And I uh, used black rice for the first time. I ordered from Amazon. Now, I only ordered a small one because I did not, you know, know exactly what to get and what to expect so i just ordered just a small one that i saw um and it was ten dollars and this is the one that i ordered Let's see i used a cup of rice and it's already down here this is probably just enough for two cups but um in the meantime yesterday i actually did order another one it's a bigger one i don't even know the size of it but that bag um cost $24 so it's black rice as well but um yeah I don't even know why I ordered another one because I don't even know how I'm gonna like black rice or if I even notice a difference between the black and the white but anyway I ordered another one so yeah but again this is the one I have what is this the earthy choice earthly choice all natural black rice so yeah that's the one that I use for what I'm going to use today but for the demonstration today I'm actually going to just be using this um long long grain white rice that i got from the dollar store which is what i use um when i you know achieved this look from last sunday i use just regular dollar store rice this is unbleached this is you know not bleached so yeah this is what i use and this is what i'm gonna show you for the demonstration because like i showed you there's not a lot left in here and i don't want to waste it because this rice was ten dollars all right guys so the first thing i would do is i would well firstly i would do everything in the sink but because this is video purposes um i'm gonna just uh do it right here so the first thing i did was i just poured out a cup of rice like i said i was just using this long grain grain rice that i got from the dollar store um so yeah i pour out a cup of rice and then i just pour it in this water here and i rinse the rice off first you want to rinse your rice just as if you were cooking rice you know you rinse it just to you know get all the stuff out or you know just make it nice and clean look at all that um cloudiness in the water you see what i'm saying cloudiness and all this good nutrients you know after it's been washed it will be in your hair giving you nice long luxurious well i don't know if it do all that because i can't even prove that yet because i've only did it one time <laughs> but uh that's what it claims so yeah and i just you know just go through this and like i said usually i'm in the sink so it's a little different i can do a little more but i just you know didn't want to walk from the counter to the um the sink so many times you know so yeah and then i just keep running my fingers through this to make sure it's nice and clean and rinsed and everything all righty all right and so i've um rinsed off the rice and threw that water away or down the drain. And then I'm going to be using a mason jar here. I ordered these mason jars, like I think it was like a set of eight or so. 
um, from Amazon, but that was like last year, so I can't remember how much it was. It might have even been more than eight of them. I don't remember. But yeah, so this is what's left in the rice after you pour the water off. And then I just take the rice and um, add it to the mason jar. All right, so that is pretty much it, guys, with the rice. So this is what you have. And then nextly, I just take some filtered water. This is just water I got from my uh, refrigerator. So this is filtered off the, you know, the door of the refrigerator. Um, and yeah, this is just filtered water. Now, a lot of the videos that I watch, they say to use two cups of water, but um, I pretty much eyeball it. Um, I'm not an expert at, by any means. You guys know that this is only my third or second time. So here we go. And yeah, I tend to just eyeball it. I don't fill it all the way to the top uh, because I don't know if it expands like the black rice, that stuff expands. So yeah, I add about that much, which could be around two cups, um, you know, but yeah. So look, it's starting to get cloudy already, y'all. But anyway, and then I just um, put the top on the mason jar and yeah there you go now this because i already have one that i'm going to be using today when i do my hair the black um the black rice this one will um um go in the refrigerator and be sitting until i use it uh next sunday since you know i use it i'm not going to waste it i could waste it but i'm not i'm going to use that one so yeah so now this has some you know just a little bit of rice in here but um i'm going to show you what the black rice um the black rice looks like and for this week that i'm going to be using so yeah look at that guy this is what the black rice did it expanded and everything look at that went all the way to the top the water was here just like that one and it went all the way to the look at that expanded like nobody's business but i'm hoping that it's going to be great so yeah, and then this is just a funnel that I had got from the dollar store in the automotive section. Of course, this is the only one they had, which works out. And this is a dollar store bottle because I'm not using my Sally's bottle for this. Um, so yeah, and this is plenty of rice water to do my whole head anyway. So this is fine. And yeah, now normally, again, I would do all this in a sink in case there's spillage. But I'm just going to go ahead and use this um, bowl that I used to rinse the water. And I'm going to open this. Well, firstly... Go ahead and put my filter in there, which of course all this stuff has already been cleaned, you know. So I'm gonna go ahead, let me just, woo, that stinks. Oh my gosh, it does stink. I just heard it as soon as I cracked that thing open. Woo, I see why people say you should use essential oils and I heard some people say they put orange peels in there. Oh my goodness, cause that white rice did not smell at all but I'm, I'm thinking that maybe it didn't smell because it only fermented for like 15 16 hours i don't know but this has been sitting for two days two and a half days because like i said it's fork was well, uh over four now but yeah so whoo i'm scared to take the top off but you can already smell this stuff o m g guys full to the top all righty let's see what it does because this will be my first time doing the black so yeah, this is what it's looking like, and it was enough to fill this whole bottle, which is enough for my hair. It actually was more than enough um, water. And so then, yeah, I just put the top on, and um, yeah, and now it is time for me to get all this goodness in my hair. Right, so just going to go ahead, oh, let me just go ahead, open this. This is just a bottle I got from the dollar store. 
as well. And this little thing right here, guys, it's just a little net that I bought from Home Depot and I keep it in my sink when I wash my hair so that any hair will get trapped in the little bottom of here so I get no um, problems in my sink, you know what I'm saying? So I had this for a long time. Um, I do clean it every time I use it, but it still stains. I don't know. Maybe there's another way to clean it. I don't know, but I clean it every time I finish, but I don't know. Maybe it's from like all the dyes and things that I use. I don't know, but it is... Uh, clean as far as i'm concerned and it's just for catching hair anyway so keep that in there <coughs> so that i don't have any issues with plumbing so yeah so i take this uh bottle then i put the um funnel that i got from the dollar store sit that in there so basically it just looks like this and yeah go ahead and open the mason jar see it has that tight seal you hear that pop that thing is fresh Woo! oh sorry y'all uh-oh but anyway so let's go ahead and i'll just hold on to the jar can you guys see i hope you can see i just hold on to the jar here i mean the bottle here and then just pour and just the uh, water comes out the rice does not come out i make sure of it um, I don't strain it because I don't see a need to use an actual strainer. I don't, not for this anyway. Um, not when I use it in here. When I use it in a bowl, I do use a strainer. But for this, when I usually do it in a mason jar, the water sits on top so far that I don't need a strainer. But when I do my black rice, y'all, I do need a strainer. And see, I'm just waiting for the funnel to uh, collect all the water. And then we'll see if I need to add more or not. And no, this is actually enough. I could add a little bit more, but it's not really necessary. I'll just go ahead and show you. And then whatever's left, I discard. So, yeah. So, yeah, that's that's overflowing now. So, but yeah. So, yeah. I should have just left it the way it was, just being extra. Yeah. And so, yeah, this... Um, and this entire bottle can do my head. I don't even use the whole thing. But whatever I do not use, I do discard. So, but, um, yeah, I probably use, I don't know, it's probably like a quarter. It's probably like a quarter of it left. I don't use the whole thing um, because there's no need. This is enough. So, yeah. All right. So, I have sectioned my hair into uh, four sections. And, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get ready to do the rice water process. Now, y'all, this is my third week doing it, but I had forgot on the first two, because I see people do this in videos. They just take a piece from under here, I don't know, but just take a piece and just see, you know, where their hair is. And I'm gonna go ahead and do this like this. Um, this is like from here, so I guess that's what you do. I don't know. But anyway, and so it's about here. So I'm gonna screenshot this after I do this, and then I'll just work from here. I should have did it the first week I tried, but anyway, it's like here. So I'm gonna just do this every Sunday when I wash my hair. Like I told you, I'm gonna do this every Sunday till the end of the year. I mean, I probably continue it, but I just wanna see um, my uh, results from when I started three weeks ago till the end of the year. So yeah, I'm gonna screenshot this and this is what I have, okay? And, but if you take, I don't know if it's, I don't know if you, like, you know, this is from coming from the root all the way and let's see this right here this is coming all the way from the roots so i wanted to try you know see if it's like the same i don't know but anyway this is coming right from my head guys and i just want to see if i see how long it is here which is actually uh the same like the same where the first piece was so yeah okay so anywho this is what the rice water is looking like, and it actually looks so much better than the first time I used white rice. It was, the white, the first time was, a, it was a little cloudy, but it was not this cloudy. I, like I said, this has been sitting in the refrigerator for seven days, and this looks pretty good because this is just dollar store rice. So, but the black rice is more expensive. So you know. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started.
there in a bun and this is all that I have left and I will definitely be tossing this out and um, yeah and I will leave this on my hair for about an hour maybe even an hour and a half depends on what I want to do right about now and um, yeah and I'm going to put my heat cap on top of this and yeah and then after uh, this sits for an hour to an hour and a half I will wash it out and then I'm going to come back with this um, uh, Manuka honey and Mephora oil intensive hydrating hair mask from Shea Moisture this will be my deep conditioner and then I'll wash that out of course and then after this I will go about my leave-in and my styling products and that is all and this week you guys um i think i am going to be using um curl formers as my hairstyle i won't be coming back to show you you know how i do unless you want me to but for this video i'm not going to be showing you how i use these um because it wasn't requested so um yeah i'm just doing what was requested which was how to make the rice water and how to apply it or how i apply it Alrighty guys, so that is it. If, if, if you have not done so already, please hit that subscribe button, notification bell, like, and comment. Thank you. Bye. Hey guys, just wanted to jump on here really quickly um, to show you my curl formers. This is after two days. I washed my hair on Sunday. Today is Tuesday and... I believe they are fully dry as you guys know I don't like the dryer I have the dryer you know blow dryers sit under all that I just don't like it because it takes too much time because my hair is thick so I just let it air dry I just make sure I don't have nothing to do for like two days you know what I'm saying so but anyway um yeah I just wanted to show you what it looks like when I take it down I'm not going to really style it um, I just wanted to show you what it looks like when I take a couple of them down that's all um I know millions of people have seen the curl formers um, you know the way the hair looks and when you take them down but I've never done it so I figured I would go ahead and just show you um, what it looks like since this is my first time too because um, like I said I did this one other time and it came out horribly but I'm hoping that this time came out better um, I apologize for the sort of lower speaking my son's room is directly across and he's still sleeping um, I don't get it is six o'clock in the morning I get him up about seven so that he has time to fully function and get himself together and eat breakfast before we leave out of here at 8 15 so yeah and I'm not feeling too well I don't know change of weather sort of is I don't feel too well guys so the only reason I'm taking my hair out today even though it's been two days is because I'm laying down all day and these things are getting on my nerves so I'm gonna just take them out and then lay back down I don't know but anyway sorry guys let's go ahead and do this Curls are really, really cute, bouncy, healthy, juicy, looking all good and hydrated, y'all. Too bad, like I said, I'm not feeling too good. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just going to put my scarf back on, and after I get my son to school, I'm coming back home and going to bed. I'm laying down and doing nothing. <laughs> 